What's good? It's your boy D Chase. Um, shout out to my subscribers and my DVE fam. You know what time it is. This is a preview for week four. Seattle Seahawks is coming to the den. We hosting them at 1 p.m. Um, we got to go against Geno. Now, if y'all don't know, Geno was a, a draft bust back in the day. He was drafted by the New York um, Jets. Uh, I can't remember what year that draft was. I'm not going to sit here and try to remember what year that was. He was just, just know he was a bust. Um, he's passed around from team to team. I didn't even know this guy had even resurfaced until I looked at Seattle Seahawks um, quarterback situation after the um, Russell Wilson trade. Um, this guy is, he's became a scrambler. For some reason, he went from pocket present to scrambler. I guess after you got all them garbage linemen and you ain't really got nobody blocking for you, really got to take off. So he's a mobile quarterback. I don't know how deadly mobile he is, but from what I've read, um, when he's out of the pocket, his quarterback rating goes up from 77 point something to 82.7. So this guy is, I guess he's better off mobile. Um, how do the Lions stop this? But before I get into that, we have a couple of major injury updates. Um, we have Ada Hutchinson, who's still out. They saying he's going to play. They got Hawkinson that's going to play. Um, Amari St. Brown, apparently um, he will be missing the game. He won't be playing. DeAndre Swift will not be playing. Um, as y'all know from my last video, I went, I racked up how many injuries we took in that Minnesota loss. We also lost Tracy Walker for the season. He is not coming back. Um, so right now, our cornerback situation looks looks a little dim. Um, but from what I heard, um, if we shut Geno down and we, or we rattle Geno a couple of times, he loses his game. He doesn't focus after that. So we got to get on him early. We got to stay aggressive on him early. Um, I heard they run. I heard they run game is not good. So we can stop that. Um, and I heard their pass game is not it. So we, like I said, Lions know I'm not going to sit here and say do's and don'ts no more. Because every time I see them, the Lions go out there and do the opposite. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that. All I'm going to say is the Lions need to come out aggressive. They need to stay aggressive. They definitely need to stop the run in the pass. If you stop the run in the pass, this team looks like the Washington Commanders. Unless you let them start coming back in the, um, in the fourth or the second half. You can't do that because that's how we lost the Minnesota game. Um, and that's how we almost lost the Commanders game, just to put that in perspective. Um, now, we got to stay aggressive early. Golf got to go out there and show his ass. Um, the receivers, he got to let the receivers break, um, get route. Um, running game got to be on point. I thought Jamal Williams was hurt. Apparently, he's not. So, they need to get Justin Jackson out here and him and switch up. Between, quit doing Reynolds. Reynolds is not, I mean, yeah, Craig Reynolds is not picking up any yardage. He's not at all. He's not picking up no yardage. I've known this from the uh, Minnesota game. He was not picking up no yardage. And Minnesota defense was lacking run stop ability. As you can see, he was running, getting big chunks of yards off them. I don't know why the Lions stopped it. Um, definitely Jared Goff hit them, hit them receivers in they, they nice spots. Get them out the way, get them to score. Um, no more three and outs. We sick of doing three and outs. Don't do no more three and outs. I'm so sick of seeing three and out, three and out, three and out. Don't do no three and outs. Cause I mean, but I, I looking at um, Dan Campbell. If he see a four for one or four for inches, he going for it regardless. So I like that grit about him. Um, you know, sometimes when you know you might not get it, kick the punt the ball. Cause you ain't doing it with putting the team in good um, yard percent. You getting them great yardage. So don't do that. Get get on it, get it. If it's inches, go for it because you know you can just get it. If it's one, go for it. If it's five or eight, don't do it, bro. Just punt it because you know nine times out of ten, yo 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 team ain't gonna get it. But don't know, man. He did good against the Vikings. Five out of six ain't bad. Five five conversions out of six is not a bad look. It's not a bad taste neither, man. He did his thing. I like that. He's probably the only coach we've had that's done that. He's not really. He's not really like went against it. He went. I like that. I like that grit about him. But you can't do that with every team. You gotta understand where your position on the field is. Like he said, he regretted. I regretted he didn't go for that fourth. You went six. You went five out of six. That's probably an NFL record for a team to go for four for four fourth down conversions and nail five. Go for six four down conversions and nail five out of six. That's not bad. So um, we do gotta get a new field goal kicker. That dude is not it. He is not it. Um, he missed the cut. He missed two. 
that would have won us the game. Even if Minnesota would have scored that winning drive, they still would have had to do a two conversion just to even tie with us. But because they feel go kicker missed two two, so um, just go out there and, and play, man. Y'all missing key components that can win this game. Y'all missing key players. They might have to. They could definitely gonna have to pull from the practice squad. Even the cornerback position, they got to pull from the practice squad because we are limited right now. We only have Akuda and Will Harris. And I'm gonna tell you something about Will Harris. Will Harris is not it. He sucks. Like he gets burnt every play. And we got um a worry that he needs to go because um everybody's saying Dante Chill. He only playing like this because he's slightly hurt. Well, stop letting these dudes play. You need to see. Did y'all just see what happened in Miami? Miami is under investigation right now because they put Tua out there and Tua wasn't even supposed to play. He already had a concussion and they told that man he ain't had no concussion. He could go play. Now look at him. He could be out for the season or could be done in the NFL. If they if his results come back uh, severely uh, uh, pain, uh, severely positive, he's screwed. That means he's going to be out for the season. That's crazy. So, um... Lions, please don't do what these dudes did because they're going to be under investigation for a long time. Um, but as far as I get y'all my situation with that, come out there, play aggressive, stay aggressive. Don't let off the gas. If you blowing them out like y'all been doing these past couple of games, if you blowing the team out, don't let them. Like they did it with Philly. They was It was like 14 or something. Y'all let Philly come back and just, just roll over y'all. Don't do the don't do the Minnesota thing either. Be having the twenty four to fourteen lead and just blow it, cause y'all don't know what y'all are doing. Y'all y'all cut a whole ten point could um ten point deficit down a half. Don't do that, man. But I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I ain't gonna make this video long. It's already at six minutes, almost seven. It's gonna be seven minutes. But um, write down in my comments, man. So give me y'all predictions on this game. What y'all think it's gonna be? I think we could take this game, but here's the problem. They got two nice receivers and Lockett and damn McCaff. And McCaff been going off, I heard. But right now, they got the same record as us. So if we win, we go 2-2. Two and two. If they win, they go 2-2. Two and two. So it's, I mean, well, if they win, they go 2-2. Two and two. We win, we go 2-2. Two and two. But if they win, we go 1-3. and three. And I'm not trying to do that right now. Especially we finna come on a damn bye week. We finna, um... No way. Yeah, we finna come on a bye week. And then right after that, no, we got the we got the Patriots. And then at, at Gillette. And then after that, we got a bye week, which I ain't going to be watching no games that week. Um, Then we come back. We got to fly to Dallas to go take on the Cowboys. Everybody's yelling D Dak Prescott could be back by then. And then after that, we got the Dolphins. Now I don't even know about the Dolphins. We possibly can beat the Dolphins because they just lost their mobile quarterback. And I don't even know how their second stream is. I'm not finna shit on that guy because I don't know nothing about him. But he could possibly come out there. We've been known to get killed by secondary, by second back quarterbacks, by second streamers. We've been known to get shit. We've been known to get killed by third streamers. We couldn't even beat a third stream quarterback in Pittsburgh. Let him mess around and run the table and tie with us. So, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Write down in my comments, man. Um, subscribe to your boy. Hit that like button. And definitely hit that bell so you can get to anytime I drop a video, you'll know about it. I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy, D-Chase, man. Peace and salute.